On a quiet October night in 2017, astronomers detected something that had never been seen before, an object tumbling through space, moving too fast, shaped too strangely, and following a path that made no sense. It was named Oumuamua, the first confirmed interstellar visitor to our solar system. For weeks, it captured global attention. Was it a rock, a probe, or something far beyond our imagination? Then, as quickly as it came, it vanished into the deep black of space. But now, it's back. Only this time, it's not alone. Neil deGrasse Tyson has just made a statement that has shaken the scientific world. Not only has Oumuamua returned, but it appears to be accompanied by multiple objects. Objects behaving in ways no natural body ever has. Objects that challenge everything we thought we understood about motion, gravity, and space itself. These aren't mere fragments or debris. They're organized. They're moving with eerie precision. And they might not be passive observers. Tonight, we follow the story behind this impossible return. What is Oumuamua? Why has it come back? And what are these strange companions orbiting silently beside it? Stay with us, because what you're about to discover may change how you see the universe forever. When Oumuamua first passed through our solar system in 2017, it already defied classification. It had no comet tail. It didn't behave like an asteroid. Its elongated cigar-like shape spun erratically as it accelerated, yes, accelerated, away from the sun. Scientists offered explanations, from outgassing to solar radiation pressure, but none truly fit the data. And just as quickly as it appeared, it was gone, on a trajectory out of the solar system, never to return. But now, against all laws of physics as we know them, it has returned on a path that defies every gravitational model. And what's even more disturbing, the instruments tracking its return have confirmed that it's not alone. Dozens of similar objects have emerged alongside it, forming a constellation of anomalies. They don't drift like rocks. They hover. They oscillate. They adjust. And most chilling of all, they do so in perfect coordination. As global observatories locked their gaze on this mysterious procession, what they discovered was as beautiful as it was terrifying. The objects weren't scattered randomly like shattered debris. They moved in spirals, phased formations, even orbit-like patterns around an invisible central axis. Some orbited Oumuamua directly, others drifted farther before snapping back in coordinated motion, like dancers in a cosmic ballet. Advanced simulations couldn't explain this behavior. If gravity were the only force at play, we'd expect chaos. Objects pulled apart, drifting unpredictably. But these bodies adjusted their speeds and distances with surgical precision. Their trajectories hinted at communication. Their harmony suggested design. The idea that they could be artificial, engineered for some unknown purpose, was no longer fringe. Even seasoned astrophysicists began to consider the unthinkable. What if these are probes, not ours? but someone else's. And then came the moment that shattered what little certainty remained. One of the companion objects broke formation, not with chaos, but with intent. It hovered, yes, hovered, for hours, and then, without warning, it accelerated, cleanly, smoothly, without any visible propulsion. It moved away from the formation at an angle that ignored gravitational logic, it didn't fall or drift, it moved like it chose to go. Its trajectory was deliberate, avoiding Saturn's gravitational pull, slipping past the solar current sheet, and pointing straight toward the heliopause, the edge of our solar system. And in that moment, the conversation changed. We were no longer talking about rogue rocks or cosmic accidents. We were witnessing initiative, autonomy, possibly intelligence. Neil deGrasse Tyson has always been a voice of reason, a defender of science over speculation. But now, even he is urging the world to pay attention. In a recent statement, he acknowledged what so many have been afraid to say out loud. This is not normal. Oumuamua's return, accompanied by a silent, coordinated fleet of unknown origin, represents a turning point in modern astronomy. He doesn't jump to conclusions. He doesn't claim they're alien. But he admits this. 
No known natural force should be able to bring Oumuamua back. No known physics can explain the motion of its companions. No known purpose justifies the sheer geometric beauty of their paths. And the silence, their silence, is perhaps the loudest signal of all. They haven't responded to our broadcasts. They haven't changed course toward Earth. But they are watching, mapping, adjusting, perhaps calibrating. And now, Tyson and many others are asking the most important question of all. Why now? As the global scientific community scrambles to understand the return of Oumuamua, a new and deeply unsettling detail has surfaced, one that forces us to revisit not just physics, but history. Researchers specializing in archaeoastronomy began comparing the formation and alignment of the new objects with ancient stellar charts, cave etchings, and glyphs found across vastly different civilizations, Sumerian, Andean, Siberian. What they found was chilling, elongated shapes accompanied by smaller satellites, carved into stone and arranged in geometrical formations, eerily similar to the ones currently being tracked in our skies. It was dismissed as coincidence until algorithms confirmed that these weren't random patterns. They mirrored the current trajectories of Oumuamua's companions with unsettling precision. Could it be that these objects have visited before? And if so, have they been watching us for centuries? It raises a question no one wants to ask. Are we witnessing a cycle? A return foretold? Not in prophecy, but in orbital mechanics far older than any book. This fusion of ancient symbolism and modern astrophysics has forced a new kind of collaboration between astronomers and anthropologists. Together, they're beginning to suspect that these interstellar visitors may have been mapping civilizations as long as we've been mapping constellations. Oumuamua might not be a scout, it may be a librarian. While telescopes and spectrometers scan for answers, something even more peculiar has emerged, an absence of technological signature. These objects don't emit radio signals. They don't use electromagnetic waves. They don't even reflect solar radiation in any consistent way. And yet, they move with a level of control we can't replicate. Some of them refract light. Others seem to absorb and then emit it in narrow, targeted bands, as if wrapped in a kind of metamaterial skin Spectral analysis shows no correlation with any known natural mineral composition. That suggests synthetic surfaces, engineered design, possibly intelligent origin. But what is perhaps most mystifying is their silence. No pulses, no language, no apparent communication. Scientists have bombarded the formation with encoded messages, prime numbers, molecular structures, universal logic. The result? Nothing. No deviation, no reaction. Yet they adjust to each other. Their motions are synchronized. And that means they are communicating, but through a medium we cannot detect. Maybe quantum entanglement. Maybe gravitational harmonics. Maybe something so advanced it renders our entire concept of signal irrelevant. And through that silence, one thing becomes terrifyingly clear. They're not just beyond our reach. They're beyond our comprehension. The most unexpected realization to emerge from weeks of observation is that the visitors are not heading toward Earth. In fact, none of them have made even a minor course correction in our direction. Their movements have centered around large bodies, Jupiter, Saturn, the magnetic fields of gas giants, not us. To some, this is comforting. To others, it's deeply disturbing. If Earth were a priority, we'd know. But their avoidance suggests that we are either too insignificant or too dangerous. Perhaps their mission lies elsewhere, calibrating, harvesting data from gravitational fields, or scanning celestial harmonics. But the possibility remains that Earth has already been studied, catalogued, and dismissed. And that leads to an even stranger theory gaining traction, that these objects are not visitors, but auditors. They've returned not to discover, but to confirm, not to observe, but to validate. As if Earth and the solar system itself are data points in a galactic grid, an infrastructure we never knew we were a part of. Whether this idea is comforting or chilling depends on how you see the universe. But what's becoming impossible to deny is that Oumuamua and its companions are not lost wanderers. They are deliberate, precise, and Earth may just be a blip on their clipboard.
While the behavior of the objects defies our expectations, it's their motion that continues to confound. Recently, one of the companions performed an action that should be impossible. A clean, sharp acceleration through the outer solar system, without any visible propulsion, thrust plume, or reaction mass. Its vector was clean. Its path avoided gravitational wells with surgical precision. And when plotted against our existing models, the data simply broke. It wasn't just the speed, it was the intent. The object seemed to move because it decided to. Some physicists now speculate that we are witnessing propulsion methods based not on force, but on space-time manipulation. The object didn't travel through space, it moved space around itself. Warp fields, negative energy densities, compression of local geometry, once just science fiction, now possibilities being seriously considered. This has triggered a cascade of new questions. Are we seeing a class of propulsion that ignores inertia? That bends distance? That breaks the limitations of light speed travel? If so, then interstellar travel is not just plausible, it's already happening. And the final unspoken truth lingering behind every scientific paper and press briefing is this. If they can come and go as they please, what happens when they choose to stay? Umuamua came and went in 2017, leaving behind a riddle. Now it has returned, not as a lone wanderer, but as the centerpiece of a cosmic procession that moves without speaking, without warning, and without fear. It has not flashed its lights. It has not knocked on Earth's door. And yet, it has changed everything. This isn't just an astronomical anomaly. It's a shift in how we see the universe, and ourselves. For centuries, we have looked to the stars and asked if we are alone. But what if the stars have been watching all along? What if they've already sent their answer, and we're only now beginning to understand the language? The synchronized motion, the silence, the precision. It all points to something we aren't ready to explain. Not yet. Maybe not for decades. But we've seen enough to know that these objects were never accidents of nature. They are intentional. Whether they are probes, surveyors, relics, or something beyond our imagination, they are not random, they are aware, and they're here. As Neil deGrasse Tyson said, this isn't about fear, it's about recognition, about realizing that the cosmos isn't empty, it's active, it's structured, it's possibly inhabited. And maybe, just maybe, we've been part of something far bigger all along, too vast to see, too quiet to hear, until now. If this stunned you as much as it stunned us, don't let it pass you by. Hit subscribe and turn on notifications, because what's coming next might be even stranger. And this time, you don't want to miss it. Comment below. Do you think Umuamua is a message or a messenger? Let us know what you believe is really happening out there. Until next time, keep your eyes on the sky, because something up there is finally looking back.